Hello. Hi there. Here I am at the beautiful Crossland family household in Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio. It is good to be back. If not temporarily. <sighs> Oddly strange color saturation on the video also. Well, I don't know. I'm here. I don't know why I'm here. I'm just here. Uh, I'm like, why am I not in California? What did I... Why am I not pursuing the acting career? With all that money. All that fame. All that. All that. All that. And all that! Mmm! It don't matter. Maybe I'm back. I, I don't know. I haven't even begun to be here. I've just been working on uh, recording. Well, I got this awesome piece of machinery. Of my, my dad has this awesome piece of machinery. And I'm going to finally put down these 15 plus songs that I've written and over the last, you know, four years or whatever. Ah, hello there. Hi. Uh, hey, it's firstly, to everyone that had made a video response a couple weeks ago, thanks. And I was not really in a jolly place to be like, get right back to you. But, you know, I plan on it at some point. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This YouTube community is like all I, is like my, uh, you know, conduit to the outside world now that I'm in Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio. Um... You know, in L.A., you can walk down the street and run into Gus Van Sant or whoever the fuck. Here, probably not going to run, run into Gus Van Sant outside, maybe. But, I feel like it's 2008. <laughs> I feel, I don't know, I just, it's like the same... Ugh. Good to be with, like, my high school friends. And their wives, they're all, most of them are married now, are getting married. And, uh, you know, do you ever feel like life is, like, impending? Like, you have to move quick if you don't, like, hurry, hurry, hurry that you're going to miss out and that everything will be gone? Like, you know, how my parents get, he's gone, he's dead. And things like that, like loved ones and things like you wait around a couple of years and you don't really get your thing done and it's a few years go by and all of a sudden someone's dead that you knew and it's like I could have done something while they were alive like I always had these dreams like being famous on TV while my grandma was alive so that she could see it and be all proud of me but I think doing stuff because I want people to be proud of me is not the right answer firstly pride is a sin and yeah the United States is all about national pride but they're also about bombs bursting in air and you know autocracy. Well, not quite, but kind of a militaristic society, whether we want to admit it or not. Um, so, I gotta kind of do it for myself, and not even for pride, for self-pride, not because I want to look good, just because I want to do it. And I realize with, like, entertainment and acting, I mean, I do want to do it, but I always wanted to do it because I wanted people to like me and to be famous. Well, be famous, i.e. people like me, a lot of people, you know. And uh, now I just kind of want to, I want to help people. I want, I want to feel good for myself, but I already do. I want to make people feel good. And I think, I think the debate's long-winded and kind of done. I don't know. I mean, this is remotely entertaining, right? <laughs> right? Well, I guess I'll go for now. And, uh, get some shit done around the house. I'm still, like, settling in. I'm still... I gotta ship all my stuff out here from, from California. A friend of mine's helping me with that. Dominic's helping me from one end. Another friend in, in here, in Ohio, is, like, shipping it into our UPS store. And, uh... We're gonna be golden from there. Maybe I'll just do silly YouTube videos with my friends. Uh... Oh, no. I don't have much plans. Uh... I'm just extending my lifespan. You know, I think when I started YouTube or whatever, when I was like 25, 26, 27 years old, my lifespan was at about 88 years or 90 years. So I was like destined to become like an 88 or 90 year old man. And now I feel like I'm going to be like 120, maybe. 
at my at my current health rate. Like if I can maintain this healthy level, the level of health, you know, I'm 32 right now, but I, I feel like I look like I'm like 24 or 25, and that's percentage-wise, what is that? 15 percent. Like I've seen that it's like an extra 15 percent lifespan or something like that. If you do the math, I don't know if it works like that both ways. But. So in that case, uh, I'm just going to keep working on being healthy, but I need some sort of fucking income. And I need more income than just, like, what I'm used to, which is, like, paying my rent. I need to, like, start a family. Help pe help my family out. I need to, like, pay back the system. But at the same time, I was like, what am I working for? Am I working for a huge paycheck that's just going to be worth less because the monetary fund's falling apart? You know, maybe, maybe going to school is not the worst idea in the world. Like, I want to go to Europe and then travel travel east and like just see the whole continent. But I also want to be a little more educated when it comes to physics and things like that. So when I sit up on my whiteboard and I'm like trying to figure out this galactic currency, like where we are in the universe, how fast we're moving, multiplied by a ratio of like how fast we're expanding so you can see where if we're accelerating or decelerating and then you like take that into account with our inflative economy I get kind of stuck because I'm looking at like transjectory I'm looking at like the way we move and like I want to be able to calculate what's what's going where and what's going to be where rather than like get to a place and then just stop and get to that place again and then stop and, you know I can't be in, I, I can beat the game on beginner so many times. Alright, I'll, I'll wrap it up, we'll see ya.